hello everyone so in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to mask in splunk so there are basically two ways to do this so the way that i'm going to use is changing the props.conf file in the back end so this uh, another way to do this is basically writing spl command so each time you're going to search it you're going to have to type that so dealing with that pain is pretty hard so i prefer doing this and in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to do that in the back end so the main advantage of doing this is basically the developer who's going to search use search and reporting app is not going to see the credit card or what are the data you're going to mask in the ui so in this way the data is going to be more secure so if you guys prefer reading i'll just give you the guys link in the description of this video so you guys can follow along so let's go so this is the Splunk instance that is up and running. So we have started our Splunk. Before that, what I'm going to do is go to this. Do we want, yeah, we want the, yes. So we're going to go CD. CD slash log. Okay, the new file called. This code will be available in the description of this video. And this will be published, published as always. All my codes will be available in the description. So we're just going to create say a sample. This is supposed to be SSN, and this is supposed to be credit card info, social security number, and these are supposed to be credit card info. So we can save it. We didn't do in sudo. Classic sudo. Then do page and then do zip and then do this. Yes, yes. Save. So you guys can see now what is it is accounts.log. Then we're gonna go to home and then we're going to go settings, data inputs. Then we're going to add a file. File that which we created right now, so we can go browse. So that is supposed to be in log select it. So this is supposed to be continuously monitored. And do next. Okay, so what we want to do here is like what can you see now? Every line is supposed to be. This is going to be a little bit easier for us to understand saying that one event is in each row. So we're going to create a source type. I think we're going for a main source type. So let's so we're going to give us say social security number and the date of this. We can save it for now. I think we're good. I think yes, and do next. Search. search and reporting search default want it to be what can we say we want it to be default yeah we want it to be default we don't want to upgrade so then we're going to give it a view and then we're going to give set and then we start searching So this is clear now. So what we want to do is like we can use this SPL commands to mask this every time we want to keep on typing the SPL commands in this text box. We don't want that. We want the backend to do that. So we're gonna hop onto the backend and we're gonna do CD CD opt slash splunk slash gc slash system. Okay, so let's check if there is a local folder here. No, so there is there local the props. So there is migration. 
the console.com so we need a file called anode props dot conf okay oh oh sudo classic name sudo nanoprops.conf and then we're gonna go to let's go with the masking and I have props.con so what this basically does is I'm gonna show this in which universe okay so, so what this basically does is so this is the source type and this is this is the regex code for masking so what we're gonna do is like mask this SSN number and social security numbers my bad social security number and the credit card infos so we're gonna go save it yes save it we're gonna go back Splunk slash bin and then we can restart the Splunk so dot so Splunk stop it will be restart be restart so all this is being restarted so okay So we're gonna create a new file. Slash log. Create another file called nano two dot log. Oh dot sudo classic. Me I believe. Sudo nano. So then what we're supposed to do is like again for the demonstration purposes. Paste this twice and save it. Yes, and we're going to save it now. We're going to go login again since we restarted the Splunk. Password and then. I might have made a mistake there. Well, yes. I think that we have created the source type is kind of messed up. So we might. The source type can as exist exactly the same as SNCC. I don't think we have an SNCC. I'm sorry, yes. CD. dot on so our source type so saving it again yes oh classic I forgot the sudo eh Okay. 
I think uh, what I have mentioned is that anyone who's using the source type SSNCC should mask their uh, social security number and credit card info. So now that we have created another uh, file, which is account two. So when we're trying to use that source type, it's going to mask the social security number and the credit card info by default. Another by name file. Select. I think screen monitor. Yes, we want to do that. So now, okay. So the same. Even breaks every line. So now you guys can see it's not masked. So when I select the search type, you want to search for the SSN. Yes, SSN CC. As you can see, error is masked. So now we want to click next. Reporting, everything is okay. Similar review, sound it, start searching. The load data is masked. Thank you, guys.